What is up guys, it's Heartless Gamer here, coming with you to another Atlas video. Today, I'm going to be kind of going over uh, how to build a breeding pen, and slightly going over some breeding tips and stuff like that. That's also going to be a separate video uh, later in the next couple weeks. I'm going to do a, uh, a how to breed type video, and just give you some additional tips as well on um, what, what to do to breed. But here we go, we're going to get right into the video. So some of the things you're going to need there is you're going to need some campfires. You're going to need either, you can use stone or thatch or whatever um, w walls you want to use, ceilings as well. It just kind of depends on how big you want. For this video, I kind of did a smaller one, a 3x3. Three three. I would really recommend going at least a 4x4 four four or 5x5 five five for this type of design that I build. Uh, the benefits of this is that kind of where I put the campfires, it doesn't allow your babies to be burned up by the fire or anything that you're, um, enable wandering to, uh, pretty much bang each other to catch fire or anything like that. So that's kind of the, uh, the pro to this specific build. It's kind of how I do the interior part of it, but Again, this could be put in really any corner or anywhere, and it doesn't necessarily have to be inside like I have it. I just did it because it's kind of more convenient for me to have my breeding pen inside. Pretty much just for the fact it's just easier for me to breed, just kind of based off where I am in, in inside the, uh, the land and stuff like that. It's just, you know, kind of makes it less trolly when they're in that baby, baby stage and stuff like that. So, pretty much what I'm going to use here is uh, your basic stone walls. And if you're not sure how to use stone walls and the, the different features with stone and structures, you can go ahead and check out my other Atlas video I made on how to build with uh, stone walls and stuff like that. So, what I pretty much do here is I go out about three wide. Um, and then I also come out pretty much one in the front there on each side. Um, stone wise just because I didn't have a dino gate uh, you could do a dino gate just so that way you can come bring the dinos in and out that you're uh, trying to breed together until they have the, the baby you do this just because it's it's easier to keep them out like keep them in there in there when you're breeding them this is kind of why we build it this way so what I'm doing for the interior layer is instead of like regular walls I'm using uh, doorways and that's kind of how it prevents the, the teams from hitting the campfires because you use doorways to pretty much give you that extra protection of, oh, hey, they can't run into the fire unless they're like an absolutely small baby like a chicken or something like that. Then that's kind of a different story there and that's something you want to look into. Um, now, as far as putting doors on these doorways and closing them off, I don't know how that affects campfires. That I don't know, but if you guys do do that, definitely let me know in the description, the, sorry, the comment section below on that concept. But yeah, so once I've pretty much done that, I go ahead and build up another couple couple walls high, and then I put a ceiling. Uh, the reason I do that is because I don't know in this game whether or not having a ceiling kind of insulates that building. I do think it would make sense for that to happen that way, but again, I am not the creator of this game, and if I was, that'd be really dope, because we wouldn't be sitting here right now, personally, <laughs> but, um, so, once I'm done that, I go ahead and pop my ceilings on, and this is a very ineffective, uh, or, in a, hmm, not ineffective, a low-cost build, and all of maybe like 20 minutes to to make if you have the resources obviously it'll be a lot less but this is something you can kind of pop up on the uh, meantime now finding the right set of campfires and stuff like that that's just going to kind of determine what your region that i don't have a definite answer on like oh hey 20 will be perfectly fine for your base like, like me I, I have no clue so just keep that in mind um and yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much what I got for this video. Um, it's just gonna kind of go through here, and it, it's a very simple build. And again, um, using a wide medium gate would probably be your best option if you do go for hide because your rhinos, elephants, and giraffes do fit through a wide medium gate, so you don't have to use the large one inside this 
massive structure that I have. So I just want to let you guys know that in case you didn't know that already. So just keep an eye out for structures that are like that. That you guys can pretty much like lure a cobra over to there and then like break down the door and stuff like that. But yeah, so here I'm putting the campfires inside. Like I said, I put about 12 in, 9 to 12. So you kind of have them ready to go and you know, you're done, just go through, but it's not a big deal that they glitch through like, you know, like they used to an arc. And that's, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. So, I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed so much. I do want to know how I can improve my channel though. So that would mean a lot if you could definitely put some kind of feedback in the comments below. Uh, definitely smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. Definitely don't forget to hit the bell notification button though too. So you know when I live stream or create a new video and stuff like that. I also stream on Twitch. I try to stream three nights a week. Uh, right now it's Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. So definitely go check out my Twitch stream. We just got Twitch affiliate. I'm so psyched about that. We're very close. We're way over the halfway point of 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. So a lot going on for the channel, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys next time. I'm going to be out of here. My name's Heartless. Bye.